attention that there are many men walking around out there who have assisted the movement without even realizing it. Tonight, we would like to honor these previously unheralded males with an attaboy, which we give to men who have unknowingly, in one way or another, aided the cause of women. Our first award is to William F. Buckley for exploiting neither sex by simply being in love with himself. Attaboy! <laughs> To Truman Capote for proving that the sound of a woman's voice does have a place in the male world. At a oh, hey. <laughs> oh, I got one, I got one. To Burt Parks for keeping a straight face at the Miss America pageant for 23 years. <laughs> At a boy, Burt. <laughs> to Bobby Riggs for having the equipment to play tennis with Billie Jean King. At a boy, Bobby. Boy, <laughs> Bobby. Oh, oh, to Sonny Bono for proving that behind every great woman is a little man. At a boy. At a boy. Oh. <laughs> Johnson for bringing men and women together on an equal opportunity basis. <laughs> at a boy. And <laughs> Our last at a boy is involved with one of the pressing social issues of today: the need for family planning in order to achieve an acceptable population growth. Not everyone agrees on the means or even the need to do this. <laughs> <laughs> The Planned Parenthood Association of Wisconsin sent us some clippings of remarks made against the new birth control laws in their state. Lee? Oh, thank you, Brenda. Sure, hon. Uh, it seems that um, State Senator Gordon Roselip, Republican of Darlington, Wisconsin, told a hearing room full of witnesses that liberalizing Wisconsin's birth control law would endanger the national defense. Yes, Rosalie pointed out to stunned supporters of the bill that the Vietnam War was fought mainly by the sons of the poor. Now, you want to give contraceptives to poor people, he said. Where are we going to get men for the armed forces if we have another conflict? That's a good way to destroy an army, the senator asserted. Well, let's hear it for Senator Rosalie. Oh, yeah. Yeah.